Hey, it's Chris Witten from Premier Real Estate. Today, we are in Wooney, in one socket. Behind us is a two-family, built rock solid. Lots of great if you're an owner-occupied. We'll give you some details as we get inside. If you're going to be an investor, great investment property. One of the main reasons why it's a great investment property, it sits on two lots. So the first lot here is 0.15, but it also sits on a 0.23 acre lot, which means you have 0.38, just over a third of an acre, where you can go down this driveway, look into the options, but you may be able to build something in the back. Great stuff, we'll talk more details on that as we wrap up this video, but we have two units. The first floor here has three bedrooms, one bath. Uh, you've got a great dining room, open spaced out living area of 1881, just about 1900 square feet between the first floor and the lower level, which has an extra uh, bedroom down there, all sorts of good stuff. Upstairs, great unit with a large deck. That's a two bed, one bath. Lots of great things going on. I wanna get you inside here at 172 Maori Street, close to 146, close to everything you need, the dining, River Falls just down the road. You know all about it, right? Let's get you inside. All right, let's break this down into a couple of segments. This is your first floor unit. Three beds again, one bath, and you've got a spacious living area down here. So your living room, it bumps out, so you got the old school ca uh, character in your living room here, which floats. Talk about character, right? I love the woodwork in here. This is uh, your dining area, your dining room. Again, spacious. You can put a little buffet table, a little hutch, a little china cabinet, whatever you got. So this room here flows pretty well into your living room. Your living room then flows right on in to your kitchen, which also has an eating area, which is great. So here we are now in this portion. Um, you have a little island that's there that isn't staying, but you can see how great it is to have an island in here. You've got your table, so if you want to just kind of have a pub style table here, great. You want to have a more formal thing going on. We just came from the dining room. So this here, another form of egress, also goes to the second floor. Right over here, goes down to your lower level, um, which is uh, three quarters the way finished. We'll get you there in a second. And here is your kitchen. Now what I love is the home was built in 1917. That means it's got lots of character, right? One of the things that I love is you have a galley kitchen. So you've got lots of cabinetry in here. Uh, you've got your sink, you've got your dishwasher, so it does have the modern amenities you're looking for. And then out here is your mounted microwave, your oven. You also have your fridge. So lots of great space here, and it's semi-open um, to meander around, do your thing. Let's talk about the two bedrooms that are here on the first floor for this unit. So this is bedroom number one. Right now it's kind of being used as a little family room, den, whatever you like. Uh, good size room. Again, some updated floors not too long ago. The floating ones, the good ones. It's got a closet also. Here is bedroom number two. This one is a tad bit larger, I believe, than the first one we just came from. They're using this now as their master down here, their main bedroom on the first floor, and it does have a closet. And before we show you the third bedroom and an extra large room in the finished lower level, this is your main bath, full bath here on your first floor. So the great thing about unit number one, and if you're an investor, you can get a lot more monthly for rent is that the carpeted stairs right off of your kitchen area come right down to two big rooms. This is one of them. This can be whatever you need, but technically you could have a bedroom down here, third bedroom. You get a form of egress, you get two very big windows here. Um, you also have, it's not a full bath, but it's a sink. So if you're down here, you kind of do your thing, brush your teeth, do some makeup, whatever you'd like. And you've got technically a walk-in closet down here too. So this room here, very spacious, again, can be used as possible bedroom. And if you're an investor, you know how valuable that is. And then right on the other side of the stairs, hey, guess what? More finished lower level. This here has a tile floor, some built-in cabinetry here. So if somebody needs a home office, you can make that happen in this corner here. There's some storage underneath the stairs. You can put a couch, whatever you'd like. And the great thing here, um, besides the three smaller windows you've got up there for some light, is it's a uh, walkout half bulkhead. So you do have your form of egress here as well. And when you get here in person, all the mechanics, the boiler, all sorts of stuff are in this section along with the washer dryer. I'll meet you on the second floor for unit number two. All right, so here we are, second level, second unit. This one is an awesome unit as well. So 
This area here is pretty much the same as the first floor. You've got your, uh, your table here, um, which I would call your dining room. You can make this happen. Um, you got lots of windows happening here. You have your stackable washer dryer in the corner, which is great. So the washer dryer for the first floor unit in the lower level where we just came from, right? Here, your stackable washer dryer um, on in unit, which is great for unit number two. So here's the kitchen. You can see you've got the same situation. You've got your mounted microwave, your oven, and then again with the character, you have your galley kitchen. Updated cabinetry, updated um, countertops. You've got your window in here also. So we've included some floor plans for you so you can kind of get a feel um, not only for the first floor lower level but the second unit as you have many of options all right so here we're going to go in there in a second that has a half door which is fun and then it goes into what, what i would call these two are your living room um, and also your home office over on this side are your two bedrooms so let's go into bedroom number one right now this is the one they are using as their main bedroom it's got a good size bed in there right now it's got the closet and you've got a window that's facing the front. And this here would technically be bedroom number two. There currently isn't a door on it, but the door is here. You can easily put a door on here. It's got a closet. So these, I would say, if you're an investor or owner occupy, your two bedrooms up here. Before we get to the other two rooms, let's show you your full bath here on the second floor. Uh, very similar size and layout to the one that was on the first unit. This is what I would say is a home office. There's also a little bed in here, um, you know, if you want to have a sleepover, a spare bedroom. Uh, closet in here, but this room you have to walk through to get to another good size room. So that's why I'm saying this could be a home office. This room here, what you're looking at, will be a living room. It's got a closet in here as well. The great reason why I would say this is makes a great living room is that it goes right out to a huge deck, which we'll show you right now. So here we are, private back deck for the second floor only. Great, right? Also functions, as you can see, as your second form of egress, but great privacy to hang out, as you can see. Got some bamboo shades going on, um, all sorts of great stuff. And then this leads to what I think is one of the biggest perks of this property for two reasons. Well, one, I guess, if you're an owner-occupied, then look what you got here. You could do anything you'd like. You want to put an in-ground pool, an above-ground pool, all sorts of festivities and fun stuff you could do back here as an investor what this extra lot gives you is the possibility to look with the city um, but you could see the next door neighbors and a couple um, here in just this vicinity of the neighborhood the ability to build something here build another two family a single family home um, because it does sit on 0.23 acres just a shy of a quarter of an acre um, but if again if you don't need that that's great if you want to be an owner occupied or even an investor both the lots will be selling um, you know, with this property as we work out the details of the offer. So if that's the case, hang on to it at some point, explore the options. But right now, a nice patio back here. You can see it's kind of like a little pub style fun event. You could have some family and friends over. You've got a really nice shed here as well. Uh, so lots of great things happening here. Uh, as an investment property, if you need it to keep it within the family, but you need two units, you can do that. You've got a large yard here, two technical lots. A couple other things I didn't mention, public water, public sewer. There is um, oil heat. There is one boiler that takes care. It has three zones, lower level, first floor, second floor. Two electrical uh, panels, which is great. Um, so electrical meters, I should say, as well. And you do, as you can see over here, there is a condenser outside. You do have central air for the first floor and the lower level with the possibility of extending that up to the second floor as well. Lots of great things going on here. Conveniently located, plenty of parking. What else do you need? My name is Chris Witten from Premier Real Estate here at 172 Mowry Street in Wooney in Woonsocket. Let's get you in here for your second showing.